I like to think of the data steward as the unsung hero of data. The truth be told is that without them, data scientists wouldn't be able to understand nor trust the data that they are using. The AI machine learning wouldn't output correct results and a company wouldn't be able to become data driven. So who is this unsung hero? What do they do? In this video, let's go ahead and put the spotlight on them. If you're new to the Lights on Data channel, please don't forget to subscribe. This channel aims to provide simple, fun, engaging, as well as thorough explanations, teaching and advice on important, but otherwise maybe arguably boring and dry topics of the data world. Today's topic is about the main responsibilities of a data steward. Please watch until the end, as I'll mention where the data stewards should be recruited from. Until then, let's start at the beginning. What is a data steward responsible for? To put it simple, a data steward is responsible for the maintenance of data and metadata of an organization. So their overall objective is ensuring quality, compliance, clarity, and understanding of the data that they oversee. This individual comes from the business side and they have experience and knowledge about the data domain that they are assigned to. Though there are different other types of data stewards, the data domain data steward, also called the business data steward, is the most common and popular of them all. So that aside, this is the person that you usually go to and ask, can you please help me explain what this data is all about? Do you know where I could find this data that I need? Um, what does this business term mean? Ah, you know, how much should I trust the quality of this data? Do you think I could use this data for my project? Now, as I'm calling out these questions, I'm sure you can already see the face of that colleague of yours that's able to answer these questions or some of them. Maybe it's even yourself. And by the way, this is just scratching the surface, of course, in the types of questions that they will be able to answer. And you might ask yourself, wouldn't these answers also come from a tool such as a business glossary? or a data catalog, a data dictionary. Yes, absolutely, if you have them. And if you do have them, it's also because the data steward helped creating that information and adding it into these tools. So what are the main responsibilities of a data steward? They are plenty, but for the most part, they can be mentioned in the following three categories. First category, data quality. They help create data quality requirements, rules, standards, they validate, they monitor the level of data quality, they contribute to the development of the business rules that govern their data domain, for example, ETL rules. They help establish data quality metrics, creating data quality audits, controls, procedures, and policies. And they also contribute to helping determine the root cause of data quality issues. The second set of responsibilities falls under metadata management because they create the business metadata. Basically, they define business terms and, and populate the business glossary. They also provide context and guidance on the meaning of data. They promote the use of approved data and metadata definitions and reference data. And they work closely with data custodians on documenting the technical metadata. And the third is all about regulatory privacy security because they help with data classification, they determine the retention, archival, and disposal requirements of their own data domain. They define data security requirements. They translate regulatory rules into data policies and standards. They establish guidelines on data usage to ensure data privacy controls are enforced. Lots, lots of stuff, and there's much more. Of course, you know, depending on what data stewards you have, they might do all of it plus more, or maybe just some of it. Maybe you do have some data stewards that are specialized. As I mentioned before, a data steward is usually a subject matter expert from the business side. They are experienced and knowledgeable about the data domain that they represent. I've also seen data stewardship responsibilities assigned to data analysts or data management professionals because they have a good understanding of the technical side of things. Ideally though, your data stewards are going to be recruited from the business side. And here's why. 
because that knowledge and that insight, that context that they bring is so valuable in everything that a data steward has to do. Who are your data stewards? What are their main responsibilities? Thank you again for watching. Please click the like button if you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on fresh weekly content. Thank you.